to continue with my exoskeleton mesh building. If Hillary gets elected, we are all screwed. So I hear. Go today. Gary Playful Fingers, what? What's going to happen when he needs to make a mesh pace past the waist? It's a good question. I actually want to show it on stream, so I'll probably need to go less detail. Like I might wear some tight something and then just keep going. Is there anyone sponsoring you for this project? Um, yeah, I would say any donation is a sponsorship. But if you mean like a university or DARPA or NASA, no, nothing like that. But I have gotten donations. Thanks for a follow, Royal T A. Thanks for a follow, Mui Kula. I've gotten a lot of followers before, but never like this. Goodness. You guys are gonna break my follow button. One man army, that's that's what's up. Be sure not to make the robot too cool. You need to give other robot inventors a chance. <laughs> Thank you, Izzy Lee. Um, I'm sure, like, mine will look real, move real, be advanced, but... Like, I think that's as cool as it can get for a humanoid if it looks and moves real. But there can be, obviously, stronger, faster, you know more advanced AI so there's always going to be room to improve I'll, I won't like 
Oh man, I cannot even keep up with this chat. This is crazy. So do you think your GF is going to stay with you for 35 some years? Also, you think your dad is going to be there for the 35 some years? I don't know, don't you need lots of money for this stuff? Um, so I've got two other businesses and this is my third. I also do think I'll be able to monetize this business as I'm making it. Um, I've already gotten pretty substantial donations my first month and a half streaming. So that's going to help offset the cost, donations, and my YouTube channel is already growing. You guys can click on the link below if you want to see the YouTube. And so that's obviously going to help as well with the YouTube commercial money, the Google AdSense money. So, so I've got money coming in through the project already. And my other businesses will be able to sustain me as well. My girlfriend's getting into the medical field, so she'll be helpful as well in terms of us getting married and getting a house. I want to be the main provider, but as an entrepreneur, it's it's not really set in stone how much you'll make. It's not like getting a job at a, a big corporation where you have a set salary. So as an entrepreneur, there's not a lot of guarantees, but there's high potential for earnings over time. One of the other ways I want to monetize this project is a robotics online store on my website. And you guys can check out my website, artbyrobot.com. It's still kind of under construction, but I got that put up already. Have you made a CAD file already? No, I'm not doing anything in CAD. I'm not. I I chose consciously to not 3D sculpt this robot in software in advance because I didn't think I needed to, and I thought I would get too tied up with that aspect, like not only making the robot in 3D, but then also creating a physics engine and testing and simulating robot actions in 3D software and it just would become a big mess. I'd, I prefer just to dive in and start building. How exactly is this thing you are doing to your arm going to play out? So if you've ever gone camping and built a tent you know that you have to build a framework first. And that's what gives this, the tent shape. So I'll be stretching out the skin of the robot, the artificial silicone skin, over this mesh framework. This framework's going to be like the tent poles. It's going to give the robot form. You know what? I can't do it. I don't know. I don't know if I can do this, man. 
I don't know if it's necessary to coat everything in epoxy before I go to sleep. I think I can just cut it off carefully without damaging it. Let's see. I need a better camera angle for this. Mr. Othello, Valentin PV. Out. Oh. 